The best way you can support me is with a simple subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. The Jay-Z and Kanye West beef has been well documented by this channel and of course thousands of other outlets. Please subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content on this story and others. We are grinding for 100,000 subscribers. Jay-Z did an interview with the New York Times and of course he was asked about his brother Kanye West and their relationship after Kanye West went on stage. He said, man, you and Beyonce, y'all ain't come check on the kids after Kim K got robbed. Jay hopped on the 4-4 album and said, you did cool by Ye, but you pissed because you, you did cool by Ye. You gave him 10 mil, he gave you what, 10 minutes on stage? What the hell was he thinking, right? So Jay-Z in his interview with the New York Times, he addressed the current relationship with Ye. He said, look, I talked to Kanye the other day just to tell him that he's my brother. I love Kanye, I do. It's a complicated relationship with us. Cause you know, Kanye came into this business on my label. So I've, I've always been like his big brother and we're both entertainers. It's always been like a little underlying competition with your big brother. And we both love and respect each other's art. So it's like we both, everyone wants us to be great in the world. You know what I'm saying? And then there's a lot, a lot of other factors that play in it, but it's gonna we gonna always be good but that happens in a long relationship you know hopefully when we're 89 we look at the six months or it's whatever time and we laugh at it there are gonna be complications in a relationship that we have to get through and the only way to get through them is we have to sit down and have a dialogue and say these are the things that i'm uncomfortable with these are the things that are unacceptable to me these is what this is what i feel i'm sure he feels that i've done some things to him as well i'm not a perfect human being by no stretch Jay says Ye is highly involved and he hints that West's behavior is at least part of what led to the problem that brewed between the two. He said Kanye is a very compassionate person and a lot of times he gets into trouble trying to help others. So I can't identify with it. It's just that there are certain things that happen that's not really acceptable to me and we just need to speak about it. But there's genuine love there. You know what I think about the situation? I think what this is is two people who are entirely different places in life. Maybe what Ye said about Jay and putting Beyonce's name in his mouth could have been cool maybe four, five, six years ago. But you see, Jay's had to grow and um, he's already trying to save his marriage as is. You can't, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't allow somebody to bring up your wife when you're trying to save your marriage and you're dealing with stuff you did to your wife. And on the other end, and this is just speculation here, on the other end, you got somebody in Kanye who's put up with so much mess and so much disrespect from other people about his wife. And when that disrespect brewed over physically, when somebody tried to rob his wife, he was like, yo, I need people to come to my side. I'm tired of this disrespect to my wife. So I think this all boils down to two people who were trying to take up for their wives, right? And ain't nothing wrong with that. They love each other. And if them rich people can get through their millions of dollars worth of problems, maybe some of us can get through some of the problems we got up with other people that we've kind of dated and said we'll never rekindle that old flame. Hmm. What y'all think about these comments? Jay opens up about his relationship or lack thereof, or relationship with Kanye West. He said he talked to Kanye West uh, yesterday or the other day, right? Subscribe to my channel. Again, we'll always keep you up to date on this relationship and other stuff that's going on in the news. 100,000 subscribers. We are so close. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.